Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with a, this is like, uh, let's see here. This is a, this is kind of like a tool tip, but it's also like a tool review. I'm not exactly sure what's about to happen, but I ordered this a few months ago and just got it in the mail. It's, I think it's ridiculous what's in here, but I also think it's worth trying out because, well, I will explain everything. Um, during this video, you're gonna hear some sounds. That's the 3D printer uh, over in the corner, just churning stuff out for me. But um, what is this, you ask? This is air. This is uh, the air microclimate. <sighs> this is a personal HEPA filtered uh, air helmet for COVID. That's how it's promoted. Um, and it looks ludicrous, but it's also kind of like a space helmet. And given that I collect, love, and obsess constantly over space helmets, I had to have this. I'm kind of curious what it's gonna be like. Let's take a look. Okay, uh, so here is the, well, it's very straightforward. There's one piece. And here's a bag, and that's it. Wow, all right. Well, full marks for simplicity. Oh, there's a separate bag here. Shall I lower this and kind of get a better shot? How's this? Oh God, that's way better. Why was I wasting your time with that top-down shot? I apologize. I'm still learning. I'm a learning computer. All right, these are, yeah, all right. This is um, fitment stuff for making it fit correctly. Uh, back to the side. Okay. I'm really curious about this. Um, I walked to the cave today, so I think I may look. You know this, I have to try this out in public. I totally have to try it in public. Does it even have a microphone? I'm not sure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure all that out. Okay, those are pads for adjusting the sizing. That is a cable for charging. Oh, it's a USB-C, great. Um, there is a cleaning cloth and a mask, cheeky, uh, and some cards, right, facts. This face mask covers the mouth and nose. <laughs> Fabric forms an airtight seal on the neck. Air going in and out passes through the HEPA filters. There are no valves. Masks may be taken off in seconds. The fabric portion may be lifted for eating and drinking. That's what it says. Is there something else? Oh, there's a QR code. Okay. Um, here is the guide. And again, six, six line items. That's easy. Turn on the fan, slide your finger under the fabric flap, turn on the fan, okay. Hold the scarf at the bottom of the opening, pull over your head and adjust the mask. Seal the neck, right? Okay, charge the device. Shouldn't that happen first? Um, full charge takes about five hours and allows for six hours of use time. That's great. Cleaning the dome, yep, okay. Cleaning the fabric, yep, okay. I've gone through all the rigmarole, so let's take a look. Let's see what we can do here. This is hilarious. Okay, let's, we gotta, we gotta, oh, the cardboard is in there just to keep it from deforming. All right. And a desiccant, nice. I can't get a single thing in the garbage can. Um, right, so, oh, fascinating. It, it looks like a really nice design. There's HEPA filters. Uh, I think it's worn this way. There's a HEPA filter here and here and here and here. So. Uh, one of the difficulties with filtering is that it inhibits airflow. Uh, so uh, they've clearly added a lot of surface area for airflow so that the HEPA filter doesn't inhibit, <coughs> excuse me, the breathability. Um, where is the charging cable and where is the... Slide your finger under the fabric flap on the side of the device. Ah! 
you will feel a small on off switch. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. That's a high mode. There we go. All right, so that's, is that also the charging port? Let me just see what I can see. All right, no. Where do I charge it from? Ah, I see. Okay, so, right, okay, so the pads can stick in there. The charging port is located next to the on-off switch. Oh, it is. You, ah, there it is on the other side. Great. Okay. I guess there's nothing... But I, I, I must say, for something that looks this ludicrous, because this does look ludicrous. I mean, I'm, I, I think I'm going to look bizarre and not awesome out in the world. But for something that's ludicrous, I appreciate that they've given it very little um, unnecessary features. It is literally a hood with a fan and two positions. Charge it, run it, put it away. That's great. That's like no microphones. No, I mean, don't get me wrong. I know that that's also another thing, but it's on a more advanced potentially... Uh, more advanced device. Uh, okay, let's give this a shot. Oh yeah, I'm gonna turn it on so I don't fog it up. Don't fog it up. Okay, three positions, off, low, and. Okay, so. I simply, all right, I see now. Yeah, okay. Got to get some fitment stuff going on here. I think I could use a couple of little chin today. Let's see about that. Do I even get to do that? I mean, it's not fogging up. It's very comfortable. It's, um, my hearing aid certainly doesn't know what to make of this, but, um, I mean, I feel, see, I don't, hold on. I don't have another person here, so I don't have a way to test out how well I can hear how, you know, obviously I can see really well. All right. I'm going to wear this home. I'm going to walk home with this. And we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so there it fogs up. But pretty quickly, it goes back down. And I appreciate that. All right, so... I'm gonna play around with how this fits because right now it's it's kind of. Is it supposed to do that? I'm supposed to look at the top of my forehead. Is that it? That's a little better. It's a little more comfortable. I mean, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I guess, let's see here. This to pull it off. That's, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Adjustments fast. Yeah. Dig it! I wonder how well I'll be able to hear people. All right. Yeah, it's a thing. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, it is a little ridiculous, but functionally, functions just the way I would expect, and I appreciate how simple it is. 
All right. The only thing to do now is to charge it and uh, wear it home. We'll see how that goes. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm heading out. I'm gonna walk home in my air purifier. We'll check in when I get there as to how it went. up. Hard to say that there's a way around that. Oh. Um. <sighs> okay. So. So. Um. Yeah, it fogged up. The. Look. Making a device that uh, puts a visor over your face and keeps that visor from fogging. It's something I've been doing for decades, a couple of decades now, and it's still really hard. Um, my spacesuits, when I wear them, <clears throat> I've tried every manner of small, quiet fans, and if they're quiet enough, they don't have enough volume, and that's exactly where these fall. Um, I put it at the, full, at the full volume of air before I left the shop. Uh, but walking from my shop to here is like four or five blocks. Um, that's like, you know, getting a little bit of a workout and it got warm and there was nothing I could do about it. And here's the thing about these kinds of solutions. I will admit that mask wearing itself feels a little claustrophobic, especially when you've got like, your nose is running and all those, I mean, I get home sometimes from the coffee shop in the morning and I'm exhausted by the number of things I have to unstrap from my body. And especially when I wear hearing aids, the mask pulls it off, my glasses, et cetera. There's all these little things. And I mean, that's just the reality of what's happening right now, but it definitely can lead one to feel a little bit like closed in, like penned in by all this stuff. And this, like part of the advertising for this is that it's like the freedom of living without that, but but is it really? I mean, to be honest, if I'm out in public and this is fogging up on me and I have the choice to wear a mask, I'm gonna take this off and wear a mask right away. I don't mean to denigrate this product. What they built is difficult and they built it with a simplicity that I appreciate. Um, and it's very plausible that someone will solve this problem, you know, the, the super cheap brushless quiet fan with a great impeller is out there, Dyson's maybe working on it, who knows? But um, just in the brief walk home, this did not live up to its potential promise, uh, even though there's a lot to, to like about this, this air helmet. Thank you guys for joining me for this tool tip. I know it is somewhat inconclusive. Um, and please don't consider this a, a, a definitive review of this product because I've not tried to live my life. I just, I wore it a couple times today and then wore it walking home. But uh, you know, just here to give a little perspective. That's all. Thank you guys for joining me and I will see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching that entire video. If you would like to support Tested even further, well, I'm here to tell you that you could become a member. If you follow the links below, you'll see there are several tiers of membership depending on how much you'd like to pay and how much access you would like to me and the Tested team. And membership comes, as always, with some excellent benefits, including uh, questions that I'll answer in live streams. The questions have been so amazing and exclusive videos and exclusive content. Follow the links below and we will see you next time.